you, if the intentions are there, that's when I get nervous. If there aren't any intentions, I'm sweet. But thinking about it, I also would say that, like, if someone t- said to me, "Go up to that guy and start a conversation with him," mm. I'd still be like, "Nah." She would not stop asking me to hang out. I want to block her, forget everything that ever happened. But problem is, she's key or car type crazy, which I didn't know until I was knees deep. So how do I get rid of her without being killed? Okay, Relatables Doctors is in session. In and session. Um, these are the scales. So zero, did not apply to me at all. One, applied to me to some degree or some of the time. Two, applied to me considerable degree or a good part of time. Three, applied to me very much or most of the time. Okay. So we'll get started. And should I answer these based off how I feel currently? Yeah, or? we'll go. I'll put this, apparently, this is the last week. That's okay, the, over the talk, last week? This is yeah, this oh. is a week or two. That's what the girl was telling me. Love it. Okay. So we'll start off with name? Jake. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. You are listening to... Relatable season two, episode two. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard, oh, yeah. then. <laughs> you hate doing the number. I, know I, do, I do. No, we normally. You press... looked at me like, and I didn't press the button. <laughs> yeah, you didn't press the button, so we just jumped straight into it. Oh, oh how well. is everybody doing? That caught me off guard. I'm ready now. I hope everyone's all good. Look, okay, you usually do this, but I remembered straight up. Leave us a review on Spotify if you're listening on Spotify. Yeah. Apple Music, leave us a review. If you're watching on YouTube, we hope you like the studio, what it looks like, and, you know, subscribe. You comment. know what doesn't make sense? What? The amount of listeners to the amount of five-star reviews. I know. We get to see the statistics. Also, the amount of followers we have. Yeah. So, they're going really good and up, but the five stars are staying the same. So, yeah. fucking, that little button takes a second out of your day and it Makes us go a long way because we don't make any money, but we fucking put a lot into it. <laughs> yeah, why do we put so much effort into uh, the studios? I don't know. Hopefully Who it pays cares? dividends in the end. Who cares? You're right though. So it takes two seconds for you to give us a five-star review and then it gives it's one second of effort from you gives us fucking days of gratitude. Yeah. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly. But, um, okay. So we've been doing the podcast now for nearly a year. Have we? A couple months. We're like a month or something away. Two two months away from a year or something. Our one year anniversary. And so... Are you gonna, are you, is it, you're going to get me something. Is um, that what you're going with this? No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> oh, talking about that. Okay. But so over the time, you know, we've got we've got a couple of listeners now and it's cool. And fair, I think a fair few of them are from where, like from around where we live. And hmm. so we've been a couple times. We both have, have had stories of someone recognizing us. Mm-hmm. Like... You know, seeing us on their for you page or the TikToks and shit, or maybe someone that does actually listen and then they go, "Hey, podcast." But each time, it has been, I mean, like a random, but also like you kind of think like you recognize them yeah. in a way. Have you ever had like a complete, complete random say something? Nah, nah, nah. Not, okay. not in real life. Say so, because yesterday. Really? Yeah. So yesterday, <laughs> um, I was at work and it was pretty. It was pretty quiet yeah. and I was just like, okay, I'll go out and I'll just see what the town's looking like because I was going to send someone home because just in case, just to like save money for the company or whatever. And so, as I was walking, I was hungry and um, there's a little grocery shop yeah. in where I work and so I went in there and I went up to the counter and bought something and I had actually been before my shift started at work as well to get some to drink and then same girl served me both times and I do, so the first time she served me, she looked at me and smiled. And didn't, but didn't say anything, just asked how I was going and then I left, went to work. And, but then this time I went up and just got like a little protein bar or something and she smiled at me and she goes, this might be really weird, but have you got a podcast? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and um, she was like, oh, you, you know, like, the, and I'm talking like completely random, just like this young girl that works at a grocery shop yeah. at the counter. And she was like, oh, like, you know, it's really good. Yada, yada. And I was like, oh shit. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I got proper like recognized by a complete random first time anyone's ever said this might be weird but yeah well, that's really nice i know yeah. it's kind of like don't, um, don't let it go to your head mate. i, think I was know like this shit is gonna start paying off soon you know <laughs> yeah. um but like another another thing that happened was on the weekend work was real busy and there was a line out the door and i was doing one in one out and i went out let someone out and i so i was like only one of you can come in and this guy was in a group of friends and he was like, 
He go, he literally goes, "Do you want us to listen to your podcast?" And I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" I was like, "Are you blackmailing me?" And then I went, "Ready, I go." In. <laughs> All of you get in there. Like four of you can go. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> we got you. But um, yeah, so it was pretty funny. So people, it's it's funny that people are kind of starting to know about it. Yeah, no, know? it's definitely cool. It's well, it goes back to consistency with everything. I think. Yeah, we have stayed be... consistent, and anything you get better just with time on attention and repetitions doing that kind of stuff yeah. and um even, even worst case scenarios i just we enjoy talking to each other anyway yeah it gives us like really thinking about it i wouldn't if you and i didn't do the podcast we'd probably go to the gym together we wouldn't but be friends this like fully forced <laughs> like the rest of our friend group i don't see often at, yeah. all. <laughs> people, at all people say that to me you know? really yeah they're like you don't really see craig's much i was like oh i do because of the potty and everyone's like <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit of like a bit of a hermit, isn't he? <laughs> I don't even. Yeah, I mean, and I now, I mean, I see pork chop because he comes and eats his lunch up here. He just uses me from a microwave. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't see people very often thinking about it. <laughs> no, <you don't. laughs> so it's good. No, so what I'm saying is it's good because I see a friend. Oh, <laughs> I get that. I'm happy that the podcast brings us together, Jake. Oh, I'm really happy. Man. Um, but I guess how are you, man? Oh, how am I? No, I'm good, man. Doing good. Yeah, nothing's changed from the other week. Just no. doing my thing. What doing about you? Thing, yeah. yeah. You came to my work on the weekend. I did come to your week work on. You the didn't weekend. have a big night though. Nah, nah. I was <laughs> drinking with um Shermy, just at one of our friends down at our local surf club. Shermy, Wormy. And um, I I were doing like rounds. Yeah. And you know from good uh, doing rounds with it's me. It's not smart to go around with body. <laughs> but um, Shermy's a lightweight. So he's <laughs> lightweight than I am. I was just cruising, and um, we got we went to, ended up getting dinner at the Bolo, and then we came out to where you work. Mm. And I was fine. We're probably I don't know eight drinks in six or eight drinks in see that you, you say i was fine eight or six drinks in I you're mean, twice the size of the guy <laughs> <laughs> you're, t- you're twice his size we're at the bolo and like people were coming up and gas fucking blind <laughs> <laughs> and he we, get, we ended up going to rondos and he was fucking maggot oh, it was so funny God. and i was there just he's like he's like he, i was like yeah a little bit like i'm a bit tipsy not bad not yeah bad. not bad but no i felt fine the next day we went left home pretty early but um, yeah, big day. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, what? Hey, here we go. I, I did want to start this with a question for you because I feel like this is your area of expertise. Where have we gone? This is you Whoop. know exactly what I'm going. This is women. <laughs> um. Okay, so we're actually. I just want you to guess the topic of conversation when I say your area of expertise. My area of expertise. This is you. This is like this, you know. This could be anything. Like women, this could be <laughs> money. No. Um, no. Um, then most my two no, it's got to be either the gym or what else am I good at? Like soccer. <laughs> well, it's neither of those. So, don't ask me about gardens. <laughs> this is I have a, my question. Okay, I want to know what happened to Pornhub. Oh, so okay, this is what, this is. Fuck me, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was away and. At one of the places we were in, I had my own room and I was like, okay, been a while. Yeah. Actually, a, f- a fair few of the places have my room, but my own room, sorry. And then, and so I was connected to, I had bought a SIM card for Rug, for the, like a UK SIM card. You bought a SIM card to have a wank. No, well, I had it just so while I was out, I could use my phone. Oh yeah, sure. sure. And then I was like, perks, can use it to use my phone. And then I was like, went to look up Pornhub, just couldn't, like non-existent. And then I was like, okay, it must be a like a prepaid SIM thing. They don't give you access to that. Yeah. And then whatever Wi-Fi was at the place we were at, also same thing. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just chilling then. Yeah. And then I, when I got home, I was really excited to get home because <laughs> I was like, you know what? I was like, this shit, I was like, it's going to be good, <laughs> yeah. okay? Get home, try to look up Pornhub. Can't find it. What? Mine's always fine. Uh, wait, so yours works? Yeah. So yeah. I was looking up on my phone like, um, in settings, like I was like, why is my phone not letting me find, <laughs> find restricted content? Show me after. I have a look back. And then, it. so what I've had to do, start doing is um, when you go onto Safari, instead of just clicking in the search bar, that's the default search bar, I have to go click on, I can't use Google. I have to go click on Bing. Oh, and I can what? find Pornhub through Bing, but I can't find it through Google. They like blocked that. it. That's I don't weird. know why. Yeah, that's how it's weird. And like, because so whenever I look it up, basically, it just is like, 
just links of news articles about Pornhub. And I'm like, this isn't what I want. I, I did maybe know. I don't use Pornhub that often. I use other websites, hey. Oh, what? Yeah. What are, you, what's other, what are other websites? I can change your life. I told you, this is your area of expertise. <laughs> I, I can change your life if you so, really, really want to, mate. All the premium videos for free if you really want to know. What? Yeah, fucking hell they do. I mean, I know of one called HQ Porner. Yeah, I got that one. You got that one. Yeah. I think you introduced me to that. Yeah, yeah of course I did, mate. Um, really exposing me here, aren't you? I'm exposing you. Uh, <laughs> but no, but, I, I so might have noticed. Know what's going I on. might have noticed my title of Pornhub changed that. They might be getting like lawsuits or something against them. Who knows? See, that's what I, was, I looked up. I was like, there's probably some dodgy shit in like, uh, the back ends of Pornhub. I was like, is Pornhub down? And then I was looking up, and it was like, no, no, no. The only thing I could get about that was that. Basically, if you live in Ohio, which doesn't matter for us, but I think everyone in Ohio doesn't have access to Pornhub. And I was yeah. like, well, I'm in the same boat as them. I've been, I've been in like Bali before and the Wi-Fi is blocked. Um, Pornhub. Bar- Why does Bali block that? Well, you I can think buy it's... fucking mushrooms on the street yeah. from a random <laughs> little guy. It's Yeah, I don't know. It's something to do with their um, beliefs or something or whatever. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, they're... they... So, what's... um Hindi? No. Um, Hindu. Uh, Buddhism, Muslim. but then... Or oh, Muslim. Is it? I thought it was Buddhism. One, I, I don't know. I'm not a butcher, oh, but they're one fuck of them. Yeah, I feel really. Bad. I think Wachava is different to the main island. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah One's yeah. might be Muslim. I don't know, but yeah, yeah this it's just weird, man. Do you reckon there's like, so you know what I always found fun really weird is that, so I've listened to a couple of podcasts with a, a porn star on them, and they talk, they ask about how they get paid. Yeah, they don't get paid that much. No, nah, not really. They get it from like they get their money from the other stuff when they make like an only. Isn't it stuff. weird that they only get like a maybe five grand for a DP? Which, yeah, which, which I figured out stands for double penetration, which I'm not into. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're right. Five grand. All they get is five grand for that, and they love it. I suppose it's like an hour. But what do you mean? I think yeah, true. I don't know, man. Yeah, it would no. be like there's a lot going into it. But I suppose you make the end like the back end of the big up and coming star. Star is. I'm glad we're talking about this, Jake. This is really um, your area that you like to bring up on yeah. the podcast. Fuck yeah, um, Sky um, Bree. Oh, um, dude. So she started off on... She's banging. I think she might have done OnlyFans. Then she went to porn, but she got her big from fucking the Sidemen. She I was on... Oh, is that where she got... Side Plus, because all the Sidemen's fans are horny fucking 17 to <laughs> 25 year olds. Side Plus must be so worth it. So Side Plus got to see this OnlyFans model, like flash her tits. Yeah. And then I saw her on a clip and she said her um, her um, monthly that one her monthly fee went up like... 200% that week or something. Is this like. OnlyFans? Yeah. Or you mean... Um, her OnlyFans. Her, oh, okay. Video. So she has OnlyFans. Because I didn't know who she was until Sidemen had her on the fucking Tinder dating and then she flashed her tits to one of the people. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> and didn't she just like fully work at Target or something? Yeah. She had like a boyfriend for five years, worked at Target and they broke up and she started an OA. Imagine imagine fumbling that bag. What? Yeah. Well, imagine it, being the guy that's know, would, her, the ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Well, would you though? Like everyone's seen her, you, your girlfriend, like it's stuff. I don't know. I think in a guy's mind, you'd be like, damn. Actually, you know what? Maybe he's not upset about that. Like, he's probably like, look, dodged a bullet. Physic- a physic- physically, he's probably like, yeah. oh, damn it. But then emotionally, he's probably like, well, you know what? Yeah. I think like he wouldn't care about not being with her anymore, but he would have initially probably been like, damn, you know, she's she's rich now. What would you do? I've thought about this before. What would you do if you like broke up with your girlfriend and she either um, changed, um, played for the other team or went in the porn? <sighs> what would I prefer or what would I do? Yeah. What, what, how'd you feel? I just like... just. Fresh breakup. It's been two weeks. You see her. She's starting OnlyFans and she's with another girl. Oh, that's <laughs> heavy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. oh, shit. I would be I would be so shocked and I would just have to be like... And the title's just fuck you, Jake. <laughs> oh, my God. The reason... Yeah, Jake, you're the reason. They talk about well, I'm the reason she's <laughs> yeah, a um, me over. I would really be like, oh man, I'd be questioning a lot. Yeah, I'd be like, do I just start shooting for the other team? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, well, final question to finish on before we jump into it. Yeah. Would you like buy the OnlyFans of what? Of hers with another girl? Yeah, yeah. would you buy it? <laughs> I've never bought it. Really? Nah. Oh, okay. Look, for the sake of the podcast, probably. Yeah. I probably actually no. I don't want to give her any money. I'd go. I'd go try and find it for free on Reddit. Or something. <laughs> I'd go on Reddit. Reddit's a place of where. Oh my god! I feel like that's where demons live. Oh yeah, 100%. that's where demons are spawned from. You can find anything there, eh? Oh, it's absurd. Fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible, oh, man. Well, okay. 
But so you don't know what's going on with. I, I can found it. So Bing is how I get to it. But you don't want to look it up right now. Quickly look on your phone, and I'll see if actually I can look on mine. Oh, it's mine's working now. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to go on Bing, or am I already on Bing? Have you been spelling it right? Yeah, I'm not an idiot. Sometimes. I, okay, ready to try one. I can, it's working. It wasn't working before. <laughs> We're gonna get this Man, podcast this is... over with, then, eh? Far oh, yeah. out. All right. You wanna jump into it? Yeah. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. All right, spoiler alert. If you haven't listened to last week's episode, go back and listen because we use the new Snapchat AI AI bot to pick up some lady friends of ours. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We um, asked for some pickup lines and um, shot them to three girls each. And um, we've got the responses (laughs) right now. (laughs) So, did you get a response from all three? Fuck no, they did. Yeah, I got, a, I got, a, I got a response. I wouldn't say it went anywhere though. Oh, yeah. all right. One, mate, mine has gone well. You want to kick it off or me? Okay, who did I? Uh, I'll kick it off. Okay, read the pickup line and then see what it said. So my, the first one, I, I don't know if this is the first one I said, but this is the one, first one I chose. So, are you a magician? Because when I look at you, everyone else disappears. Mm, I like that one. Yeah, and I thought it was good too. I thought you could come across as creepy, but it's also <laughs> pretty good. But um, her reply was, only took you a week, smiley face. So <laughs> she started following me a week ago. Whatever. Yeah. And then she replied to the actual thing saying, but do better. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit. And so then I hit her with the classic, can I borrow a pen? And that one worked? <laughs> and she said, you can have a pen instead. And I said, sweet, just need to write, need it to write down your number so I can text you the details of our date. She said, oh, we moving fast, but I don't give my number out. Yeah. And so at that point, I was gonna leave it, and then I was like, "Oh," because like I, I can tell she's just not gonna be fun to talk to. So <laughs> I was like, "I need some, I need someone with banter to talk to." But I, I kept messaging her for just a couple of messages for the sake of the podcast. I said, um, "Okay," I said, "Not a big fan of taking it slow because I hate messaging, but I'm willing to compromise." That's she nice. said, "Oh, are you one of those people that would rather call than text? This isn't gonna work then." And then I said, "Call, nah." I'd rather talk in person. And then she said, but what if I don't know how to talk to guys in person? And I was like, I said, have you tried? And she said, nah, I haven't in 24 years. And I just didn't reply. I was like, fuck. That no went, banter. Yeah, is not that went, fun. That went no. That I know. That wasn't good at all. Bad Terrible. Choice. Yeah, not at all. Um, okay, my one. I said, do you have a map because I got lost in your eyes? And she, <laughs> said, she said, ha, 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 Oddy bless. Saw that pop up on my watch at work and it made me laugh. And then she goes, how's your week going? Oh, nice. <laughs> and we just started chatting and we chatted for a long time. Oh, nice. But we um, figured out she's from Melbourne. Uh, um, you know, it's, that's the thing that sucks is we get people following us from the podcast and then they're from like fucking Perth, <laughs> yeah, you know? sucks, dude. Like <laughs> fucking move here. Uh, okay. So, so, so my first one, I think I'm up one nil. You're... you're yeah, yeah, mine was not successful. No, not successful at all. I mean, I mean, oh, not none of them were successful if you if you think about it. Like, right, next one. Uh, I said this was another. It was a joke. So I'm not a fan of pickup lines, but I can tell you a good joke. And then I, and then it goes, why why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Oh, you know what I did here was I fucked it up. Did you? Yeah, I was I was like stressing while we were recording, and I didn't spell it properly, so I wrote. I wrote, why couldn't the bicycle couldn't stand up by itself? And then she said, what, dot, dot, dot. (laughs) And I said, I said, oh, that's embarrassing. Let me rewrite that. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? And she said, please enlighten me. I said, because it was too tired when I spelled too. Yeah. And then she said, Europe's really bringing out your best content. <laughs> I was like, I'm glad you like that. I was pretty nervous. <laughs> and then she said, don't be nervous. And then I, I wasn't going to reply after she said, don't be nervous. And then she said, any more content? Question mark. Oh. And then I hit her with one that I think I gave you. And yeah. Okay. Look, what? it's all fun and games. I always give that one a successful one. Yeah, I was, it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give that. Okay. My one again. <clears throat> Talked for, actually talked for fucking ages. Holy shit. Oh, Oddy, you fucking have mad long like message message combos. So I said, the walking man and said, do you believe in love for, at first sight or should I walk by again? And she said, ha ha ha. That's a I, good I guess I believe in it. Very impressive. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. 
Yeah. And then basically just said, I said, ha, oh, you'd laugh if you knew how I came up with that. And then I said, how's your week been? And then we just started chatting, blah, blah, blah. God, she's going to Europe soon, but she's from Melbourne, going to Bali soon, blah, blah, blah. Far out. Kept talking. Oddie, you have, you're scrolling. <laughs> you are proper. Look, this is, I mean, this is one of my whole ones. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you should see my next one. <laughs> is, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, are any of the girls you message from here? Nah, nah, nah. That's uh, why I messaged them. Kind of, oh, right, right, right. But, I um, met two of the girls I messaged her from here. <laughs> But she was a very lovely girl, actually, and um, she you made a friend. Yeah, I made a friend. Yeah, yeah, you I made, made a friend. You made a nice friend. That's yeah. I'm yeah. glad, man. And oh, I'm not a fan of pickup lines, but I can tell you a fun fact instead. Did you know the sh- the shortest war in history was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896, and it only lasted 38 minutes. That was the one where I'm I was glad say, I wouldn't know what she said. I didn't end up saying it. <laughs> no. uh, so she said, ha ha, I have so many questions. And I just didn't want to say it. I just couldn't bring myself <laughs> well, to do it. it. <laughs> what did you say? I just, so she said, I have so many questions. And I said, ask away. And then we just had a short combo. <laughs> oh, man. And, and it so, went to nothing. And then, yeah, I, I just always stop replying because I can't be bothered to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. I just couldn't bring myself to say, and I only last three. Really? I don't know if I should or not. I could do it to another one. No, nah, that's all right, man. See what if happens. You, if you leave it. <laughs> my, my last one, you were ready for this? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what that? Boy, she's sending long ones. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Still gone. How, seriously, how much time have you got? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, I said, I'm not a fan of pickup lines, but I can tell you a joke. Why did the tomato turn red? And she said, ha ha, fair call. I'll take it. Why did the tomato turn red? And I said, because it's all the salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> and she laughed. That is better than a pickup line. I feel like I owe you a pickup line now, but my post-work brain isn't giving me anything. Post-work but Excuses. And I said, that's Look it. one up. And then I said, smooth as you like. I was like, that's okay. You can hit me with one later. How's work? Oh, Oddie, you are <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh god i <laughs> they call me the rizzler mate <laughs> i was gonna they call you the rizzler i think we've come to realize i'm not good at messaging no nah, you're not hey i ne- okay this is what i need when i'm messaging someone i need like i can give banter i can do it but i can't do it to someone that's not giving it back to me <laughs> yeah you need to get the initial stage like the first one you just got to get like the boring shit out of the way yeah like right. the, the, the talking and then there's a little yeah you, you got to throw the first little joke in there and give a bit of banter and see if they reciprocate okay okay maybe i should with this week so between this episode and next episode so it's a week until we record again maybe i should like See if I can actually message a girl that's around that I could maybe meet. Yeah. That's like potential. Like I'm not gonna message someone from Queensland or Perth or <laughs> you know? Yeah. Maybe I should message a girl that I they think maybe I would like to meet, but I need to do it in like cause this cause this is what I do. This is where I go wrong. I'll message a girl, or maybe if someone replies to my story or if I reply to their story, and I am just so, I, I fucking, I hate messaging. I just find it so pointless. But maybe in this day and age, this day and age, it actually does serve a purpose. It probably does. You know, like, because I'm always like, let's just fucking see, well, talk mate, in person. Yeah, and you, wa- you waste time texting if you don't have like, the reason I um kind of don't, I didn't I didn't want them to go anywhere. So I was kind of taking the piss with my yeah, answers then, in a way. You're not going to meet them. No, no, no. Yeah. That's kind of like, I didn't care what my answers were, like what the um, outcome would be. So I was kind of just taking the piss and having a bit of fun with yeah. it. Yeah. Whereas like, if you generally like want a uh, like date or like to see this girl, you might overthink things and it's like annoying and yeah, you get in your own head too much. But I, I'm kind of with you. With, you might as well just meet and get it out the awkward bit out of the way and see if you click. Otherwise, this is just wasting time talking over a phone. That's what I'm saying. I don't think, I, I don't know. I'm not scared to meet someone in person. I've never... I had I, well, someone messaged us because we always mention that um, we're like scared to go and talk, go up and talk to girls in public. And oh, that I'm scared. Of. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather know that I'm going to go meet. It's like yeah. I need to be prepared. Like I need to message them first, <laughs> make sure like they know that when I. It's like because then you know when you agree to meet somewhere and you see them, it's like you know you're going to meet them. Yeah. So you give them a hug, say hi, how are you? But just sparking them a conversation. Was awful. And she was trying to decipher like why we're so scared. Mm. And I was, I kind of couldn't explain. I was like, I don't know why I'm scared. It's just rejection. This, it's obviously rejection. Feeling. But like even just the initial like going, I could, I'm the scary business going up to him and like saying like, 
hi, how's it going or something. Mm. I reckon that's the scariest bit rather than the rejection. Like the initial just going up to a random person and saying hi. Fuck. And I was, because I was kind of like explain why I was scared. I was like, I don't know. It was just so fucking scary, eh? It is. I mean, I I just always thought it was the re- the rejection that you get scared. Yeah. It is. But I sometimes like, I saw someone like Dan Brazarian said the way he got good at it was like, he didn't go on it with any intentions to like get rejected. Like, get a date out of it or something. He just started talking to girls and it just gets better at it. Okay. So it's like, what is he talking though? Like, like just... Because he said it heaps of times. Like he just said a shot and he said, yeah, you start up a conversation about whatever. Mm-hmm. See if it goes anywhere. And he's like, 90% of the time it won't. Yeah. But then there's 10% of the time it, you might click with this girl and it's fucking cool. Oh, and then, yeah. And I see then what he get, means. Like you might just go see at the orange juice side and be like, oh, 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 I like that one too. Okay, so you're talking, it could be like you're at the grocery store and you're both looking at bananas. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. that's not a very good fruit to talk about. No. Maybe you're both, I don't know, you're looking at something and you just say something. And you don't have any it. intentions to be like, oh, let's yeah. go on a date. You just start chatting. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, realistically, yeah, yeah. what are we worried about? Exactly. So you just go up and like you just uh, chat to like, a you, person. You, know, you might say something funny and stupid at the start, but like that's how you get better. Just improve by just talking like that. And I was like, that oh, sounds actually really smart. Okay, okay, cool. The good thing about my job is I interact with people walking and leaving every oh, single true. day. But it's like they're never single. They're always there with a couple because they're out for dinner. Yeah, true. So at least I get interaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And or if it's like a group of girls out It's not like dinner. we're both socially, socially awkward or anything like that. I mean, I don't think we are. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. But like, I don't know. I just get nervous if, it's, if, you, if the intentions are there. That's when I get nervous. If there aren't any intentions, I'm sweet. But thinking about it, I also would say that like if someone t- said to me, go up to that guy and start a conversation with him, mm. I'd still be like, nah. Yeah, true. You know? True, true. I'd still just be like, why? Why would I do What's that? the point? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why would I go out of my comfort zone and yeah, like <laughs> talk to someone weird, I don't eh? know? Like those pick up lines. So if you guys are struggling to like... Don't go like too far out of your way and go talk to someone in public. Fuck that. Mm. Just go on Snapchat AI bot and ask for pickup lines. Actually, can, <laughs> can some people do it and send us like... See if it worth the responses. <laughs> Anyways, hit up your AI. It's a friend in everyone. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. All right, we're back with a relatables advice. Relatables advice. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Uh, we're trying to make a little community and we love when you guys send us a little bit of like what's happening in your life and you want our opinions or even if you just yeah. want to have another chat. So a listener, should we keep it anonymous? Uh, probably. Okay. We'll just in an- case. We haven't asked for permission yet. I but- actually haven't read through all these messages on oh, the chat right. on the account. Um, anyway, this guy always mentioned us and we love him. So, um, oh yeah, he, so he'll know who, who we're is. talking about. He'll know who we're talking about, and we love him. Yeah, but um, we actually haven't asked permission, but I assume he's going to say yes. Um, well, I mean, if we don't know his name, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He said, "Boys, um, I have myself a serious issue. I'm a magnet for a crazy erotic chick." <laughs> and this one girl, she added me on Snap. We spoke for a day, seemed normal. Then I bumped into her at uni, and we were with a group of. And with a group for an hour or so, she messaged my mate saying she loves me. Messaged me like 30 times a day, all day, every day. Said I'm her future husband. Confessed her love when I was really, really drunk. I said no. She said, what's FWB mean? Friends with benefits. Friends. Oh, she said friends with benefit. <laughs> you see how hip I am? I said sure. Then she convinced me to send a nude. Ooh, she got him. Ooh, that's She's a... trying to trap him. She's yeah. going to save that shit, send it to everyone else. Um, She will not stop asking me to hang out. I want to block her, forget everything that ever happened. But problem is she's key your car type crazy, which I didn't know until I was knees deep. So how do I get rid of her without being killed? <laughs> So that's all I read and I was at work and I said, oh, this is Jake. I'm at work. I'll think about it then send you something. But you have replied, haven't you? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. So I haven't read anything that you've said. I sent a voice message. Oh, shit. Do you want me to connect it and then we can play it? Should we play that? Or I can play it from mine. Oh, yeah. Go do that. You don't say his name in it. If you do, you might have to bleep it out. Oddie here. Um, Yeah, you got to get the fuck out of there. That sounds insane, mate. I can't say I've been in a similar situation. I do know someone who has though. You gotta get out as soon as possible. You gotta make up some excuse that like plays in their head that like it's not either your fault, like something sus and something bad, like I don't know, your mum or your dog died or something, or your mum or dad are sick or something, you just need to focus on yourself, man. Something along those lines, because that'll just it's just gonna get even worse and she's gonna get obsessed with you. Hope that helps. Just make something fucking absurd up that will get you out of the pickle. 
Dude, wait, who do you know that's been in? <laughs> oh, I can't go into that, man. Oh, no, okay, you can't not on here? No, don't go into that. Um, but oh, you said his name at the start. We'll have to, we should probably leave that out. Okay. But he said, what do you say? Fantastic idea. Yeah. I'll blame it on Nan. <laughs> then then pull up. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> 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 oh, there's too much going on. I'm So Oddie goes, yeah, do that. There's too much going on. I'm sorry, it's just bad timing. Yeah. yeah this is awesome. Classic, like... Man, and oh, he sent it. He told her. Yeah, yeah. Or have yeah. we got? Have we? Do we find out what happened? Yeah. We oh out. shit! Yeah, 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 go on. Um, he said the text has been sent. I'll keep you updated. And I loved how it. Yep. And he goes, boys, I got rid of her. Ghosted. Told her it was too fast. I was ghosted. uncomfortable. Said I couldn't do it. Had some family stuff come up, and she hasn't replied in twenty four hours. Bruv. And I said, dub, dub in the chat. Dodge the bullet. In the <laughs> Dodge the bullet. And oh. um, he said, for sure, can I listen to the new Effie now? And um, that's another happy customer. Another happy. <laughs> Look, man, I've got to say, you should count your blessings. I wouldn't mind having someone obsessed with me for a oh, minute. Oh, that's, that, that's too much. But hey, I don't know. There's always, although I am. We hate saying that, like, you don't want to play games, but when you put all your eggs in one basket to start like that, like, it's the automatic turn off. Bro, that's just... Like, like go deep when you both know you're in the same place. Like, you both know you like each other. You both know you love each other. And then you can both say... Fucking take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. What's with the... I hate saying when people jump in, like, yeah, like that. It scares me. I, I, I just get... Especially when it's a friend Mm. and you think... You're rushing into this and you don't want to say anything because you can tell they're, you know, they're all in. And and so then I just get so scared. I'm like, man, when I'm, I don't even think if, I just think when this goes to shit, yeah. I'm like, I do not want to be fucking here. I've, I've, I often don't think though, like I've, also, I'm trying to lately just be like, be in it without like overthinking the like end result or the consequences in a yeah. way and be like in the present moment and like just enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Whereas like, instead of thinking, oh Maybe like this could end up like this. La 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 la. Maybe I won't say that. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I feel like it's better to be in the present moment rather than because I'm off. I'm, I catch myself overthinking, which I think is a relatable thing. That definitely is a relatable thing. I, and, oh yeah, I would for sure. Yeah. Like we've said it before. I'm trying to use that five second rule. Like if you catch yourself overthinking scenarios, like we built, we set it, we build up silly situations in itself. Like this, yeah. she could be my wife. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh man, what about like quickly? Actually, what would you? Okay, let's say 10 out of 10, like, banging girl, but she's crazy like that. Would you cop it for a week or something? Maybe two weeks just because it's, like, I, really good sex? No. You know, my, my answer would be no. You know. <laughs> really? You wouldn't just for a couple weeks? No, I don't know. There's, there's, often with dudes, like, it's the value of sex on, like, it's how high they are. Uh, um, I just feel, yeah. I'm, I'm not a guy who like, I prefer like, I value feelings over sex, I guess. And if mm. she's obsessed with me, it's not the right thing to do. Like if yeah. you, and if you know it. And I'm, that's saying, I knew, I know I wouldn't fucking talk to him like that if, if they were obsessed. <sighs> yeah, he might be a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you would? I'm just thinking like, you know, why not waste a month? Like, but you, she's just going to get, you know, she's obsessive and you know you have no intentions of like making this any further. Yeah, I'm thinking, but no, but this but is, so this is a rare occasion. I'm talking like she's a bad, like she's 10 out of 10. Like, yeah. It's like the best sex you've ever had. And it's just like, you, it's like, I could give this a month. So you value sex it. over someone's uh, emotions? Uh, well, her emotions, I don't care about because I know she's a psycho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, but she doesn't think she, she's a psycho. Uh, she does. She thinks that she loves me. She doesn't <laughs> actually love me. She thinks she loves but me. She she thinks she's like she doesn't think she's a psycho. Like she her, doesn't think in she's her a head psycho. she thinks she's like normal. And so who knows why she's that way? She might have seen her parents like that. She might have like done this or that. She might have been. That's how she sees relationships. Yeah, you're just, I you're just, just have zero. You're just her adding to the, the fire. Yeah, and yeah. The, and then look. one month in, she's broke a little heart. Yeah, look, I'm not gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't have any sympathy for a psycho. Okay. Zero. I've okay. put up with it. Yeah. Oh, Zero true. sympathy for a psycho. True. I haven't been through it like that. But yeah, we've both yeah. had girls who like like it, like us, and then yeah. you don't want to go any further. Yeah. No, if if a girl really liked me, but she was a really nice girl, I wouldn't 
I would do everything in my power not to fuck her over. Yeah. But I tell you what, that pussy better not be very good. <laughs> oh it better God. be shit. Well, I'm right. concerned about you, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking dirty dog sometimes, hey. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I actually don't... I'm trying to think. I actually don't think I ever have properly ever fucked a girl over thinking about it because like people do it mm. you know like people do fully lie like, I've, yeah i saw lie uh, to their face like i want to marry you i want this i want that and then a, a minute later it's bang i'm sorry not even sorry it's like what are you talking about you like gaslight them into thinking they're psychotic like i've never done that i saw a thing what where like it's like good pussy and a hot girl man yeah 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 i, I saw <laughs> I saw a thing where I can't remember what it was on and it was someone was asking for advice and it's they always fall for someone who says all the right things mm. but then realistically he's saying all the right things to um, like three girls and like as soon as um, he fucks her off he's gone he, he sees her with another one the week after. Wait, do, what? Do you understand that? No. Like a fuck... Like I saw a thing and said how do I stop falling for a guy who's like a fuck boy oh, okay, and yep. says all the right things and then... He's actually a fuckboy. How do I tell he's a fuckboy? Oh, wait, yeah, because he's saying all the right things. Yeah, he's saying... Like, and he's acting the right way. Yeah, he's acting like a really nice, genuine guy, caring about like you as a person, but then he's saying mm. this to three other girls at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was thinking, I was just like, fuck, I don't know how people do that. Like, have the mental energy or like the nah, capacity I'm... to... <sighs> let alone fuck someone over, but keep three different like feelings, um, lives all in check. And you know the... what it is? What? It's about like to them. So like you and I look at it in a way where it's like, who has the time to do that? Mm. You know, like that we look at it like that. Well, like who the has time, the, the who, energy? Who, yeah, like who has the energy to put into that? Yeah. So that's how you and I look at it. But like also you and I look at um someone who's a gambling addict, like who who has the energy and who has the time and who wants to put their money into that. So mm. for the gambling addict, it's about the win. Like mm. the money, oh, the money's good, but it's about the win. Man. Yeah. And for these people that have one to two or three people going on, like simultaneously, three different relationships, it's about you know nearly getting caught, but not. It's I'd about s- it's about the win. Funny you say that. It's I've, about, yeah. I was listening to a pod, pod, podcast side thing. It's the exact same thing, but it was um they were like explaining a situation, and there was a they were in a movie, and a guy started like whacking off to the, in the movie like a couple seats across from him. Okay. Anyway, like wait, this is a real. Story. This is a real story. And um, they they ended up getting the person who comes in with a torch and shit, and they came up and the guy started running, mm. and like he ran out and they like they told everyone like we couldn't find him anyway. The police got him like a couple of hours later, and they go, yeah, he's done that a couple of times. Like he's 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 got a photo behind the desk. Like he comes in the movies <laughs> and just starts whacking off. That's his thing. Yeah, and his thing is, but it's not necessarily because you can whack off at home. Why would you do it? But but the thing is, he like likes to chase after him, yeah. get, not getting caught. That's it. It's about the win. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I I don't understand that though. There's healthy ways and there's unhealthy ways of going about this. Exactly. The healthy way is to play a sport, (laughs) work hard, win a game. I don't know. Yeah. Do something. But, you know, some people are just fucking psychotic. And And that's why I'm saying I got no sympathy for psychos because this crazy bitch about this girl, about our our listener, our good friend here, who we actually have never met in real life. But he, you know, she is like probably thinking... Like it's probably worked for her before mm. and she just, she loves to love bomb. It's about yeah. the win and she's a psycho and then she was probably just going to fuck him over anyway, you know? Maybe. But then we're just, that's, we're going too far on her. He's going to fuck him over anyway. Yeah, you know, maybe so they... you make yourself feel better about fucking her over though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> look at the mind games we play of ourselves though. It's so silly and annoying. Yeah, no, look, I hope he, I hope she doesn't go airing out of that nude around. He's... Oh, yeah. She, she got something out of it. I haven't sent a nude fucking... I've sent like one and that was to the girls dating. I reckon I've sent one. And but like, I and can, it was... I mean, I don't reckon I remember sending one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was to a girls dating. And you want to know what's funny is I was on a holiday. Really? Yeah. You're away. And I was away from her. Well, that's and, good. Yeah. And I was like, yo, send me some shit. And she was like, send that shit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I don't feel like... In, I don't feel... In that, today's day and age, I've never thought like, fuck, I want a nude or get one or to give one. Like, just go... Figure it out in person. What's funny is we've copped a couple. Oh yeah, (laughs) yeah. And it was because of that stupid thing we did with that episode. We did an episode where we said we were talking about how how to get a guy to reply, and it was like just send him a nude. And we copped something, and I was just like, I wish we didn't say that because people. It it doesn't like it doesn't interest like it doesn't interest me like that. Just I don't know. But um, don't send them. Nah, dude, no. <laughs> nothing good comes out of them anyway. Like especially unless you're dating. I think if you're dating, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, true. But um, oh, yeah, fucking weird, eh? 
But um, if you wanted some relatable advice from Jake and I, it looks like we helped the old mate out. I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. And I've also, I've had another time. I don't think, I don't know if we spoke about it on here, but yeah, a girl messaged the thing I was saying like, um, I've got a situation, you know, I met a guy I like, uh, she was really, she was like a hundred percent sure that um, he was just using her for sex. Oh, I remember. And, that one, yeah. Um, basically, I was just like, "Look, I don't want to make any decisions for you." But and she was like on his on her way to meet up with him, and she was oh. like, "Do I go? Do I go?" Oh. And um, she had like messaged um the relatives account and my account, yeah. And because she needed a reply, and I was like, "Fuck, she values our, our opinion." Yeah. And um, I just said, "Look, judging of what you've of what you've said to me, I don't want to make a decision, but you shouldn't go." Yeah. And she was like. Thanks, I didn't. <laughs> but, um, you know, we help people out here. Well, we, I think that's a benefit of us being even like we're not very large. We're I'd say I wouldn't say small, but we're not um very big. And yeah. a very benefit of having like a smaller knit community. We reply to everything. Yeah, we reply yeah. To, uh, pretty much we, unless you send something sus, we're going to reply and like do our best to, uh, exactly to help you out, which I think is um. Mm. Rare in a podcast because the ones I listen to, like, I would never get a reply. Oh, neither. There's yeah. no way. The ones I listen to. So, like, get a if you're giggling along at work here or there and you think that you have a little situation going on, we're, yeah. we like um, helping and um, we're another little yeah. friend, friend. Someone said it was a parasocial relationship. That's what? that's what we can be a parasocial relationship. We're a parasocial relationship. Yeah. Okay. Which means, so what people our listeners are like feel like a friend of ours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they they know more about us than we do of them, and then we can have, <laughs> actually true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. We need to know more about you guys. Yeah, exactly. We need to know more. Okay. Keep moving. Is that everything? Yeah. I feel like I'm coming across as a fuckwit. Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. Okay. Um, in a, I think it was mid-season one, we brought up talking about... This is going to be talking about depression and anxiety and stuff. So if anyone's got any triggers or something like that, um, maybe don't listen. But I think this is going to be a good thing. We talked about how doctors ask you a lot of questions and then they diagnose you with depression or anxiety and then they mm. refer you to a therapist yeah this is where this is how they refer you yeah, yeah. and um this is called it you remember what it's called the- so it's the depression anxiety and stress test i did look it up so d-a-s-s 21 i'll quickly just so d-a-s-s 21 and it is uh depression anxiety and stress scale scale yep and shout out to um her name is maddie hines i think maddie hines and she sent me this because she listened to it and said this is the actual test oh and so i was like legend and i said thank you very much i think you might have just given me a segment oh let's go hopefully she listens and she's like oh, and I'm, this is i'm part of this shit yeah, yeah 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 i think she will and um so this i'm the doctor and this i've got 21 questions and how it would work is I ask you and you give me an answer on a scale of one to three. Oh. And then um, I'll tell you how severe your anxiety and depression and stress is. Okay. And, and is zero an answer? Um, yeah. Zero, one, two, and three. Okay. And then um, this is a doctor and then he'll figure out what's wrong with you and then he'll f- refer you a mental health plan mm-hmm. for a therapist. Cool, cool, cool. So cool. this is what kind of plan you'd get. Right. Should we explain why we're doing this? And also... Jake's no, okay, okay. yeah. So basically, I do want to give a shout. I, I so the way we do the podcast is we record. I edit the clips that you guys see on Instagram and TikTok, and Oddie edits the audio you listen to on Spotify and you watch on YouTube. All of those things. And basically, I so when I got home from the holiday, I went on. I was falling like I always knew. So I was I was falling straight like coming home and going straight into a new role at work as the. I'm the manager. Basically, I'm in charge. Yeah. And it's all like talking about it actually fucking <laughs> damn. Like so I knew I was like I had been trained for it. I knew what I was coming into and everything. But and I think we've actually spoken about this before. I was I've been a manager at a different place before and that didn't work out and everything like that. And that's because I left because I didn't like it. But this place is different. It's very well run. I was taught everything. It's really good. But just like coming into it, I guess, you just as soon as it gets handed over to you or in my situation, let's say. So once everything did get handed over to me and everything, and it was all set in stone, contract signed, everything started and I was the person in charge or I am now. It was like, I think I just, I, I, it all, I felt it all at once basically. Yeah. And so I was just like pretty much stressed. Yeah, I was yeah. just super stressed. And, and like the way, the best thing I can describe it as is so, I like 
basically just couldn't stop thinking about it's only been a couple of days and it's and it's eased off now but for the first couple of days i just like fucking was just i don't even know how to explain it it just couldn't stop thinking about it. i was losing sleep i was you you like basic. to be really good at your job. I, yeah, that's it. And you, yeah, I could tell. I could tell you're a bit stressed. Yeah, going on. It's fucking base. And so basically, we edit the clips and put subtitles on them. And the subtitles actually, for me, take the longest because I do it in a way and I try and make them all look fucking. I don't know. And um, I messaged Oddie saying I was like, "Fuck, sorry, man. This week I'm just I'm not gonna have subtitles on the clips. I'm just gonna post them without them because I'm just stressed." And then he was like. Send it to me. All good. I'll do it. So he's a legend. Appreciate that. That's all right, Thank man. you very much. Um, big shout out. And basically, I think we need to do the test to see <laughs> what side of stress. Lucky will... for you, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm a doctor. So ba- actually, quickly, if anyone listening is a manager or is, I don't know, has been stressed about work. How have they handled it? I want to know how you've handled it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, they're very nice. Because yeah. nice it messages. was like weird for me. Like I I haven't, like I've started for, for like four days. I like barely ate anything. Really? Yeah, That's barely. Stress. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't like, know that bad. Barely ate anything. Uh, the, I didn't go to the gym. Mm-hmm. And then um, basically just forced myself to like get up and go yesterday and just like, eating and then like did a big grocery shop today gonna meal prep so i don't have to think about cooking like i just all that shit need to get back into routine and yeah yeah okay yeah let's go well these are the um okay relatables doctors is in session session. and um these are the scales so zero did not apply to me at all one applied to me at some degree or some of the time two applied to me considerable degree or a good part of time. Three, applied to me very much or most of the time. Okay. So we'll get started. And should I answer these based off how I feel currently? Yeah, or we'll go. Oh, but this, apparently, this is the last week. That's okay, what, over the talk, last week? This is, yeah, this oh. is, it's a week or two. That's what the girl was telling me. Love it. Okay. So we'll start off with name? Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found it hard to wind down. Three. Three, okay. I was aware of, my, of dryness of my mouth. Mm, or oh, two. Oh. Yeah, when you're saying that, yeah. Well, I have a dry mouth too, but I thought it was like the weather. Maybe Ooh, I'm still I'm sorry. stressed, Oddie. Sorry, I'm bringing my own <laughs> problems. <laughs> this isn't about you. Yeah. Well, I only had a brief look at these questions, so I'm reading them sort of for the first time as well. Uh, I couldn't seem to experience any positive feeling at all. Mm. One. One. I experienced difficulty breathing. And it says all the breathing, this things. Rapid, oh. excess breathing, breath, breathless, absence of breath. Probably two. Two. Yeah. Getting a bit puffed, mate. Mm. <laughs> I, I couldn't be a doctor, eh? <laughs> 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 I found it difficult to work up the initiative to do things. Mm. Zero. Zero. Okay. I um, tended to overreact to situations. One. One. I experienced trembling in the hand, e.g. in the hands. Three. Three. Okay. It's not looking good, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that I was using a lot of nervous energy. Three. Three. I was worried about situations in which I might panic or make a fool of myself. Two. Two. Okay. I felt that I had nothing to look forward to. Fuck. I mean, two. Two. You look forward to seeing me, man. <laughs> I found myself getting agitated. Three. Three. I found it difficult to relax. <laughs> Three. Three. I felt downhearted and blue. Three. Three. <laughs> this is not sounding <laughs> good. Um, I was I... intolerant of anything that kept me from getting on with what I was doing. Two. Two. I felt I was close to panic. Oh, Three. I was unable to become enthusiastic about anything. One. One. I felt I wasn't much as a person, much worth as a person. Zero. Zero. I felt that I was rather touchy. I felt that I was rather touchy. I don't get that one. Like, I don't Say know. zero. Zero. I was aware of the actions of my heart in the absence of physical exertion. Easy. Sense of heart rate increase, heart missing a beat. Mm, nah, I go zero. Zero. Getting good now. Mm. I felt scared without any good reason. Two. Two. Um, last, que- yeah, last question. I felt that life is meaningless. 
Zero. Zero. That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just tally up your... We'll come back to you guys. Okay, me, okay. okay. We'll have, have a just, quick break. Yeah, quick break. Quick break and it'll be a, a one second break for you. <laughs> okay, Mr. Jake, was it? Mr. Yes. Jake, um, I have your final scores uh, in. Let's go. And um, there's this... So there's three scales, depression, anxiety, and stress. And... Um, each, so you answered one to three and I add them all together and in those three categories, you get a like assigned a level on mm-hmm. the basis of your score. Mm. So which would you like to know first? Depression, anxiety or stress? Depression. Depression. Your score was in the extremely severe depression rating on the basis of this test. Fucking hell. You got, so 28 plus for depression is extremely severe and you got 36. Jesus fucking Christ. So, <laughs> sorry to you, mate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> so, so if you haven't noticed, um, in tricky situations, I like to use humor. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I've done this right, there's a, there's a something on here that I don't understand, but I did time something by two. But anxiety, twenty plus is extremely severe, and you got thirty six, and stress is thirty four plus. And you got 36, so you're only slightly, a little bit on the extreme, extremely severe scale of stress. So I was definitely stressed and anxious, but yep. I was only anxious because I was stressed. Yep. And um, in my professional opinion, you should go see someone talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, is I answered them based off how I felt leading up until about two days ago. Yeah. It says over in the last past week. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I feel a lot better now. That's good. So hopefully it was just like the first week of work and then I get in the get swing, in the swing of things. Like because it was it was it was new, it was a very new feeling for me. Yeah. Well we say um in life you're gonna have depressive stages. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean you're depressed. Exactly. Yeah. But this is also we we mentioned like I if if someone's just gonna say I answer these questions, say Jake's depressed. Like, yeah. And they don't know your whole it's life. A bunch of bullshit. Yeah, they don't know your whole life story. Like you need a fucking ten sessions minimum to like get a little understanding of what's going on in Jake's brain and why you're like this, not just all right, we had our ten minutes of questions. Jake, you've got depression, anxiety, and stress, mate. Uh here's some pills. Here's some pills, here's like some honestly. Pills. And um uh, this uh, there was two of these tests, but um I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. And I do believe that is bullshit. I do believe it's bullshit as well. It's funny. Some of those questions I was just like because like I, I definitely was just so I don't know if so anyone that's been through a heartbreak knows what it's like. It's like you're just anxious and and you are depressed and yeah. you're stressed. And the only reason I knew that I was really stressed is because it was really weird. I was, I was I had the same same sleeping patterns mm. of when I was heartbroken. Oh really? And I was like, okay, obviously heartbreak just means you're stressed because I'm not heartbroken. I'm just stressed. Yeah. Like that's why it's like this. And it was weird. I just like. I was just constantly thinking about work and I was just, it's just the whole, I think it's just a process. Like, I think I personally think it was part of the process and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get, get know, through it to a point where I'm comfortable with everything. And yeah. And I mean, my boss is great. He, I can call him whenever I want. He's, he's messaged me, letting me know I'm doing great. Like he can check everything every day and you know, he's very good like that. And you know, no. I don't want anyone to stress or be up, uh, be worried about me because I am fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. Because, no, I'm, I'm good. Damn. I thought I was going to make some money off you. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, no, nah, we should be all back into the swing of things. And, yeah, I think it's just weird. Something about being in charge has felt yeah. weird to me. Yeah. Okay. So, what's going on? You just got, you need your ad- adaption. You yeah. Know, time, to, time to change and get yeah. it all under your belt. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm I'm glad we could do something like that, and yeah, thanks, I like man. starting conversations around this, and hopefully, even though this is beneficial for you, but beneficial mm-hmm. for everyone as well, because as we said, everyone has those depressive stages, and yeah, like, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. happy to talk about it. Yeah, you know? I think that's what helps everybody because you think that like sometimes you think you can't talk to anyone about it. But yeah, if you have more conversations around, it, it becomes less taboo. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it yeah. becomes an easier thing to deal with. That's a good point. That's a very good point because a lot of guys don't. No. A lot. I mean, a lot of girls and guys don't. It's very, very fucking common in guys not talking about it. Like, yeah. You know? And that's one of the... one of the, We talk a lot of shit on here like we did at the start. Mm. But one of the key reasons is we want to have the conversation around mental health and um, change the title a little bit of men's mental health and get chatting about your feelings because back in the day, our grandparents' era, 
They didn't talk about their feelings once. No. And I think it's slowly getting better. Our parents do a little bit and then we're coming through and hopefully going to change the tide a little bit because... Hopefully it becomes way more mainstream. Yeah, 100%. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. Okay, I'm sorry if... um. This, the ending's been a little bit, not to be down. It's a nice thing to talk about. Nah, I, we want to talk about this type of stuff. Yeah, and um, we still haven't really figured out a um, thing to finish the potty on, but I thought... Yeah, yeah, we'll keep thinking. Yeah, we'll keep thinking. I, I clearly wasn't thinking about it this week at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing really um, coincides with what we were just finishing on then, and it is the suicide rate in men that happens over a year mm-hmm. and it's the breakdown of all of the details. So I'll just talk, um, say them and then we can go through and talk about it a little bit. So um, 524,160 men um, die each year due to mental health. 500,000? Yeah, 500,000. <sighs> this is in the world, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And um, 43,000, oh no, yeah, 43,680 men a month. That's 10,080 men a week. That's 1,440 men a day. That's one man a minute. Around four to five of suicides are male. Men's suicide rate is around 12.9%. Suicide is the most common death for a man under the age of 50. That's fucked. Um, 32% of all men's suicide notes contain a word about how a spouse was has cheated. Fuck. Men, if you ever t- um, are thinking about um, suicide, please talk to someone. And then it gives you the numbers. That is... So that... Lit- okay, so statistically... It's a pandemic. Oh yeah, literally. That's, that is that is, so, and that's every year. Five hundred thousand people a year. So that yeah, that's a like you know we had over a couple years, however many people died from COVID. So there's probably dude, that is literally considered. A pandemic. I think someone said something like, um, "We cared so much about this pandemic, but these deaths are happening every fucking day, like one man a day." What the fuck, man? Like it's crazy, and I, it's just I, I feel like it's neglected a little bit in a way, and. It's it's so hard to talk to to talk about their feelings. I don't know why. You know what I've I've heard I've, apparently the so men is a super common one. Apparently it's because so guys will make the decision, like they'll be upset that or whatever, and they'll be like, "I'm gonna kill myself," and then within like ten minutes they're dead. Oh really? So it's guys close. guys make the decision oh. and then they just do it. Yeah. You know, sometimes they don't even leave a note. Sometimes, you know, they'll make the decision, write the note, dead. Like mm. they that's how they for some yeah, I don't know why guys just make the decision, go through with it, and then it's all done. It's uh, and then everyone 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 probably probably listening knows someone's that lost man or woman like yeah. in their life. And it's just fucking the most terrible thing anyone has to go through. So Yeah, man. If even a little potty like ourselves can make a little conversation around it and we're here as an outlet as the fucking last case scenario if you want to talk to someone. Like honestly, better than nothing. Dude, yeah. And um like we say, we we reply to every message we oh, get. Yeah, I've heard, I was thinking about we me and Jake always talk about um like what we want our podcast to be and like what mm. videos we want to produce. And it's all fun and games that um like the good the things that blow up are stupid and they're like clips. And like, yeah, sh- yeah. All the things on our channel that have blown up are like just stupid, stupid little, little, little clips like, fucking... and we didn't think it would blow up and all the meaningful stuff that like we actually talk about goes terrible. It gets nothing. So it's like, and then everyone, everyone just aims for the things that blow up, which is the stupid of how the algorithm works. Yeah. But I was thinking the other day, like realistically, I'd prefer us to be smaller and produce content that makes a difference. And I, I, I was thinking the main thing I wanted our content to do was to make people smile and happy. Yeah. That's, the, that's the only thing that I wanted out of it. I didn't want fucking like the fame, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And it's it, from those statistics, you can see why fucking people don't talk because all the shit on the internet is just people talking absolute smack about <laughs> things that don't even matter. Fuck. When the real, all, all the real conversations just get down, go push down the bottom under the doormat and no yeah. one really talks about them. Bunch of bullshit, eh? Yeah, exactly. But, um, it's a bit of a different ending to the Relatables yeah, today. Yeah. Um, normally, we are all fun and games, but there's both sides to us, yeah, I, th- I think yeah. so. We're not, um, we're not all just dumb. Yeah, we're not all just dumb. Yeah, I don't know about you at the start, <laughs> mate. <laughs> but um, either, either way, um, thank you, everybody, if you've got this far. Um, yeah. We're doing the most in... You should see our setup we got going on. We're doing the most to sort of okay. everything going on. This shit's fucked up. And um, hopefully... hopefully um, 
we and everyone listening get something out of this. Yeah. And um, we, I think we have. Yeah, for we, sure. have, we have for sure. And, if, and, you know, if we do this for however long and then it just, you know, if it's... Just doesn't go anywhere. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a failure. Yeah, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like if this does, if this doesn't go anywhere, and then at the end of the day, we like for a year or two, we made fucking a couple hundred people smile. Yeah. Laugh, giggle. Yeah. And they say like, that was really good. They oh. gave a shit about what we had to say. Yeah, I'd be happy. Fuck yeah, man! I wouldn't take it as a loss at all. Nah, no way. So it's um, fun. Leave it at that. Yep. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Fucking five star that shit. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time, man. And um, have a good rest of your week. Here we go. Mm-hmm.